Good afternoon, everyone. I am Looter FM, as always. Hello. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching the last episode. Much appreciated. Uh, I hope you all like. I hope you like the new thumbnails. I feel like that's the best thumbnail I've done so far. So quite proud of myself. So I hope you like it as well. I think it. I think it suits it really good. I won't lie. I kind of sort of copied what Lelujo done in one of his. So um, if it ain't broke. Don't fix it, as the expression goes. And obviously, if you're going to steal, steal from the best. Uh, in my opinion, he's the best FM YouTuber. But, I mean, everybody's different. Zealand's very good as well, by the way. And Jack uh, Work the Space. And Dr. Benji when Dr. Benji does it. Clates, etc. There's there's many out there. Omega Luke. I better not leave him out as well. He's doing really well lately. So, um, but yeah, thank you, everyone, for supporting me so far. I hope you're enjoying the So Show uh, Youth Only save. I'm really enjoying it. So, I hope it's coming across like that. So, but yeah. Anyway, where you left us off last, we are top of the league um, by three points. All Leon's uh, three points behind us, they're second, 24 games played. So we are on track to get automatic promotion. Uh, we're not in the Coupe de France anymore. We got eliminated by Lille, but that was going to happen anyway. Um, but we managed to give plenty of game time to our young players like Rubinho, Vaz, um, and oh, what's his name now? Um, without looking, the midfielder, central midfielder, I can't remember. Anyway, I'll find out in a sec. But yeah, anyway, so this is so I'll be back in a sec with the first part of the video. This is just a little intro. Just want to say thank you. And if you haven't subscribed to me and you're watching the videos, please subscribe. It is much appreciated. So back in a sec. All right, so here we are. First game of the episode. And um, we've got we're playing a Le Mans FC. Uh, in fact, Le Mans FC produced a few talented young players, including Raphael Varane. Um, there's one other, but I can't remember who it is at the top of my head. So they're, uh, they've produced, like, a, like typical, loads of French teams producing very talented players, as always. Um, it doesn't matter which French team. I think everything, every single French team out there has produced probably a world-class player at some point. But yeah, so here's our lineup. Um, we've got the usual... Defense, other than obviously Diagne's in there for Fontaine. Um, and then we got Biltard and Drame, midfield as usual, Dosu and Pizard, Fatar and Kofi. I have no idea where Dawa is. I think he's still injured. So uh, hopefully he'll be back at some point. Um, hold on, is that him down there? Well, there he is. Why is he not playing? That's a weird one. Maybe he's not match fit. Let's have a look. History. Injuries. Has he had a recent injury? Uh, a couple of months ago. Only out for six days. Maybe the... Maybe Bizarre's just better than him now. Overtook him. In the pecking order. He is, I trust the assistant manager. We're doing well so far. So I have no reason to doubt him. But yeah. Kofi up front and Fatar up front as well. So let's see how we get on. Um, we've also just had our youth intake. So I've just um, offered contracts to... All the good ones and hopefully in a minute after this i can show you who we've got and i'm quite excited by the looks of it we've got some very uh we've got a few elite talents and a lot of top talents so just continually just continuing to build an even bigger talented young squad so i can't complain i feel like i've got too many players at the moment so i think in the summer i might just get rid of Anybody that's below, say, three stars, I think I'm just going to look to get rid of, to be honest. I'll try and do that every every six months in the game. Summer and January transfer windows, get rid of the dead wood, get rid of the players that just aren't going to be good enough. Keep the wages down as well, because we've got, like I said, we've got a big squad, so it's going to affect the wage bill eventually. But yeah, nothing happening so far. Uh, Baxter's decided to join us, everyone. Say hello. Hello. Come on. No, not when I'm playing. Come on. Right. Get in. Kofi with his 16th goal of the season. Just before half time. I gave um, Baxter a dental stick because he's um, 
we, we give him these like these natural beef stick things that he loves, but it, it's, it stinks his breath. So whenever I go away for a few hours, I'll give him something like that to chew on to keep him occupied. He comes back and his breath stinking. So I just tried to give him a dental stick, freshen up his breath, but he, he's decided to ignore that no, ignore that one and go back to the bloody beef stick. Uh, right. Boris now with the ball. Here we go. I feel like there's another goal coming up here, hopefully to us. Building up slowly. Beautiful pass. Some nice passing going on here. Oh, I spoke too soon. No, I'm all right. Drame, no, Drame lost the ball there. Come on, Drame, focus. Right, Bastion with the cross. Get in. Never in doubt. Kofi with his 17th goal of the season, second goal in the game. He's on track for a hat trick. Um, yeah, top of the league by five points now. We're getting that lead back again that we lost. At one point, we were six points clear of uh, second and third place, but we lost, I think, one or two games, and then we've gained it back a bit now, so that's good. All right, we've got a few players knackered, so we'll do a bit of swapsies. Uh, Fatal's not been playing well, so I'll put Vaz on. Uh, I'll put him on. And I'll put him on. And then we'll just do some swapping around with the tactics. Right, so let's pause this. Sir. Um, so Vitaly, you can go here. Leave Tete in midfield. And then Silver can go here. And then that way we just close the game up now. Uh, for a laugh, I'm going to take Kofi off and put the goalkeeper on. I do like the fact that you can use all your subs. It's quite funny. Mm, 2 0 by the looks of it. Yep. Get in. Good way. Good way to start the episode. Right. I'll be back in a sec. Right, we've got a very important game now. We've got Chateau. Uh, sorry, is that how you pronounce it? Chateau. Chateau. Sorry, Chateau. I did a save with them last uh, on FM23. You think I would know the name? Yeah, Chateau. Right. Um, usual, right, we've got Vital Vitelli in defence with Diagne. Uh, usual fullbacks, usual goalkeeper, usual midfield. Usual wingers and usual strikers. Uh, let's see how we get on against Chateau. Let me know in the comments section if you... Um, no, let me know in the comments section, sorry, um, what your current save is on Football Manager. First one that does it, I'll give them a shout out in the next video. Well, I say that the next video I record. So bear in mind, I might be a couple of videos ahead at the time when you comment. So yeah, but I will come. I will. I will give you a shout out at some point. I'm always curious what people's saves are because it always um, encourages me to do a save in a different country, for instance, or with a different team or a different scenario. Ooh. Because I've got I've got my save that I do for online content, which is this one, and then I've got like saves that I do just for like casual leisure. Um, but I keep getting bored of every save that I'm starting lately. I'm just doing I'm just doing a uh, mostly youth only save with Coventry City at the moment, but I'm not doing very well with with them. So which is not a bad thing because it keeps me interested more more likely. If I was winning all the time, I could probably get bored. Just trying to get the tactics right. I'm trying not to use um because my online saves I don't use downloaded tactics, but sometimes an offline save if I get really stuck, I'll just use a downloaded tactic. But I'm not doing it with this commentary save. I'm trying to stop doing that to be honest, because I think it ruins the fun for me if you're just using these cheat tactics. 
So, but yeah, so uh, hopefully I can turn things around with Coventry. But every preset tactic or whatever, or little tweak tactic that I do, oh, beautiful ball, look at that for a goal. Um, it just isn't seem doesn't seem to be working with Coventry. I'm either trying to do youth only, but also trying to get the occasional Scandinavian player in, because obviously Coventry's got a, a good a good record with Scandinavian players, including um, Dioukes or whatever his name is, who now plays for Sporting. And as always, I'm trying to sell players for decent money to make money for the club, because I always play football manager as like a businessman trying to get as much money possible from transfers. Right, here we go. Da Costa with the interception. What's he going to do? Passes back to Galvez. And we've got Bastion on the left. Oh, look at that. Galvez with a beautiful header. That's what Kofi usually does. I thought it was Kofi that scored that one then, but it wasn't. 2-1, just before half-time. Lovely jubbly. We will be eight points clear if we win this one. But that's mostly because all Ian's haven't played. We're not playing today. But you never know if they lose. We'll be eight points clear. And then we can start rotating the team a bit. I think eight points is quite a decent gap. The cost is injured. He'll come off in a sec, I think. Uh... Booted out by Angoli. Hazard. Oh, I thought he was going to lose the ball then, but he didn't. Vaz. Oh, Vaz is playing. Oh, yeah, he must have just come on for uh, Fatar. Go on, Kofi. Oh, yes, get in, Vaz. Ninth goal of the season. We could have potentially three strikers with ten or more goals for the season by the end of the season, which is really good. Oh, why is the Costa not come off? Why has he not come off? There we go. Everybody saw at the video that I did that, didn't don't you? Didn't you? Sorry. You could see I did that. So why did it not work? I don't know. That was like I had to do it three times before that worked. All right, Galvez. There we go. Kofi with his 18th goal of the season. He'll get. I reckon he'll get 25 goals at least. Kofi. The only bad side, the only bad thing about that is we're gonna have clubs circling around him. French striker that can score goals. Is he French? Yeah, French and I think Ivorian. Yeah, he was born in uh, born in Ivory Coast as well. All right, so we need to put him over here, and then we need to put. Galvez, who's actually doing quite well as, on there, but we'll put him down here in his better position. And then uh, we can't really... I don't know. Do you know what? I'll just do that. <laughs> That's going to be such a weird tactic. There you go. I'll show you on the screen so you can see it. Look at that. <laughs> we'll win it 4 and We can take chances. Uh We'll take Kofi off. We'll put the goalie on for the last 10 minutes. There you go. <laughs> He'll score events, uh, eventually, Valete. It's only a matter of time. Come on, give it to Valete. I want a goalie to score now. Drummer. There he is, Valete. Has no idea what the hell to do. He's like, I'm not a bloody striker, I'm a goalkeeper. <laughs> uh, funny. Right. That's that done. Right, let's just quickly go through these because I think the youth intake will be just sorted in a sec. Right, if it's not if it's not come through this one. No, right, I'll be back in a second. Right, so for some reason, I still haven't had um, 
this come up with my youth intake with all of them signing so i think there's quite a few just going through so i just thought i'd quickly show you just in case it never comes up some of these um top prospects that we've got coming through so we've got a player called gortia george uh central midfielder also can play as a right uh right ring back and a defensive midfielder uh, up to like four to five star potential balanced personality his key attributes are tackling work rate and stamina and aggression so uh probably got ourselves a, a young french roy Keane here uh that's him and then we've got uh bertrand paisley uh current ability is two star and he's got potentially three and a half four and a half star potential uh light-hearted he is a defense he's a central defender but also can play left back actually he's a left back sorry He's a left back that can also play in central defence. So I apologise. Um, he's got decent tackling, decision making is pretty good, work weight is really good, teamwork's good, and stamina is really good as well. Uh, good decisions as well. Light hearted personality, naturally left footed. And then we've got uh, Tio Feeboard. Uh, no, Tyboard. Tyboard? Oh, I don't know. Tyboard. Driven personality straight away gives me high hopes for this lad. Um, potential value here as well. He's 300 to 700k. Current ability is one and a half star. And you've got four to five star potential. Um, technique is is good. 15. Teamwork is excellent. With 18. Work rate is good with 15. Really good bravery and determination. So, yeah. He's definitely one to watch out for. And then I think there's... There's a couple here as well. I mean, look at these as well. So you've got uh, Andre Riviere, a uh, a right back who can also play as a wing back. Um, balanced personality, current ability one stars, and then you've got three and a half to four star, four and a half star potential. Has decent uh, aggression, determination, really good teamwork, decent work rate. Um, let's have a look who else. No more. Look, I'll probably go through all these, and uh, and then we'll still and we will get the work. Uh, we will get the report come up to say that all the players have signed their contracts. Probably after the next game. No more. Look, um, but yeah, this player here, uh, Loic, Loic Mathias, a uh, central defender, can also play on the right and the left uh, back position, full back positions. He has a balanced personality, uh, decent first touch. Good technique, good aggression and bravery, decent teamwork, uh, and he is six foot four, so that's quite handy to have. Lelujo would be happy. Uh, we'll just look at him. Last one. Ta Taru Taru Samasa. Taru Samasa. There you go. It takes me a few times to get it right. Oh god, temperamental personality, which is not good. Hopefully, we can train that out of him. Uh, decent ta decent tackling and technique, uh, decision making, balance, stamina. His attributes aren't as good as the others that we've seen, but I, th I think he'll still be good. Decent uh, ability, one star ability, sorry, and then really good potential. Um, he is a Malayan def uh, central defender that can also play right back and defensive midfield. So, yeah, so very happy with these. Um, but anyway, we are playing, uh, who are we playing next? SAS Epinel. So we are still top of the league. I'll just have a quick look. Um, actually, I'll have a look during the game. So we've got a bit of a rotated st strikers here. We've got uh, Macy U and Vaz up front instead of uh, Fatar and Kofi. And we've got Deo back in the team as left back. pizarro has got, sorry, left wing. And then Bazard has gone on the right wing. We've got Tete and Acura in the central midfield. Silva, Fontaine, Diagne and Galvez. And then uh, Patti Litt in goal. So a bit of a rotated team. I think maybe the assistant manager is resting some of our players and giving some of the other players a chance, which is fine because we are actually eight points clear, but uh, all these have got a game in hand. Nothing so oh Fontaine's injured. Not the best to start. 
him and Boris are our best central defenders. And now we have a central defence partnership of Diagne and Vitality, uh, Vitali, which is, I don't think they played very often together, so it'll be interesting to see how they cope. Accra keeps the ball, luckily. Diagne back to Accra. Cross to Pizar. Pizar playing on the right instead of the left today, which is a change. Great ball to Mas uh, Mat uh, Masalu, who fails to score. Makalu, sorry, Makalu. Right, got the corner in, headed out. By the way, I have been batch recording, so I'm not a, a dirty scrubber. I haven't been wearing this Man United shirt for the last three or four days before anybody starts thinking that. Um, I do have the abilities to have a shower and get changed. I have to wash my clothes more now anyway, because having this little little dog here stinks your clothes. Your clothes stink a dog. But I don't mind. I'll let him off. Right, still nil-nil. Nope. Just about to encourage the players, but for some reason it won't let me. Try to mad that you can't just do a shout whenever you want. You have to wait for a certain period of time to happen. Don't, that don't happen in real life. You wouldn't you wouldn't be having a, a manager going, oh, don't, I can't say anything yet. I've got to wait a minute or two into the game. It's ridiculous. I don't know why FM does it. I think they just do it solely to annoy me. Right, headed out. Let's see what we can do here. Diagne. Cross to Vitali, uh, Vitelli. Gives it to Silver. Oh, what a ball. Oh, come on. Mac, uh, Macaluca could have done better than that. McAloo might be coming off soon. See how he gets on in the second half first. I think Lacoya will probably come on for him. We definitely can't afford to drop points. We are nine points clear though. Uh, Orleans must be playing at the moment. Who are they playing? Oh, they're losing 1 0 to uh, Nimes. Neil are winning though. Uh, right, corner to us. Silver. Looked it up, headed out. Deho to Passat. Look at that. That was a great shot. Brilliant goal. Right. Makalu, you're going to come off, I think. We'll put on Lacoya. Galvez, uh, we'll put on Tanner on for him. Zard, we'll put you on. Uh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, and then take Acker off and we'll put on uh, Dossu. Dossu can play on the wing. There we go. Nice, easy 1 0 win. Not the most exciting game in the world, but we managed to get it done. Fontaine is out for three or four months. Ah, that's not good. Broken foot as well. 32 years old. He's going to struggle to come back from that, I think. He's not going to be at his best after that. Right then, back in a second, next part. Big game now. Big game now. Our local rivals, Nancy. Um. We could potentially be nine points clear of Orleans if we win this one. We've got a game a hand, so the head of them. Um, they played one game more than us, so big game. We win this one. We are we've got like f I think like five or six games left in the league after this game, so it will give us a strong chance of getting automatic promotion as champions. Um, but anyway, here's the lineup. Uh, Patelet, Galvez, Boris and Diagne, Bastian as the defence and goalies, Drami and Viltard in midfield, Dosu and Pizard on the wings, and Fatal and Kofi up front. But, uh, Nancy are a strong team. Let's have a look. They've got Lenny Nangris, who I've heard of before. Um, who else have they got? Yeah, that's it, who I've heard of. Pellegrini, I think I've heard of him before. Lucas, 
Lucas Pellegrini. Oh no, it's not the one I was thinking of. I was thinking of the one who played for Roma or plays for Roma. Anyway, um, but yeah, they've got a strong team, so they will not be an easy team to beat. But yeah, as you can see here, we're currently seven points. I don't know, nine points clear, sorry. Hold on, I'm really confused by that. Anyway, we'll have a look in a minute. Uh, Nancy with the first highlight. Ah, no, 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 no. 18 minutes gone. Nancy are winning. They are, they've come here to spoil the party. All right, we now have a highlight in our favor, hopefully. Cross was not good enough. Grammy with a poor pass. Good interception there. All right, Bastion passes it to Passard. Passard with the cross deflected cross goes over by Kofi. Headed over by Kofi, sorry. All right, let's try and get an equaliser before the first half finishes. As I said, Nancy are not an easy team to beat. They are also favourites to get promoted with us. So, uh, and they are our local rivals as well, so the pressure's on. Even though it doesn't look like there's any fans in the stands today. Look at that. Where's all the fans? Come on, Nancy, have a word. All right, Drame with a forward pass. Oh, look at that. It was a beautiful ball. What a goal. Smooth like butter, that was. All right, 1-1. One, one. Let's see if we can get the lead now. I feel like we've got the quality there. We have been the better team overall. Uh, highlight to Nancy. Oh, luckily that came off one of our players. Where's all the fans? They've literally got no fans. Where? Why is the stands empty? Look, there's no fans at all. Where is it? Where? Are, where's? What's the attendance? Does it say? I can't remember. Will you find this out? Uh, still 1-1. One, one. At this point, I probably would take a draw if it, if it, if it come down to it. I would want, I want a late winner, though. I'm never happy unless I win every game. Mentality of a champion, that's why. Right. <laughs> right, Kofi's knackered. We'll put Vaz on. We'll put you on. And we'll put you on. Uh, and we'll put the goal in. <laughs> It's going to backfire on me eventually. Yeah, one more. That's all right. We're still doing well. We're still, we're nine points clear. Uh, we could have been 11 points clear though if we won this one, but it is what it is. Right. Back in the um, no, I won't actually. Sorry, that's the last game of the episode. Sorry, I got carried away. There. Yeah, so that's the last game of the episode. Uh, so as you leave us, we are there. We go. Let's just expand that. As you leave us, we are nine points clear. Um, we just drew with probably our biggest rival in the league, and uh, yeah, that's that really. So um, thank you to everyone for watching today's episode thank you for if, for the people who have subscribed to me much appreciated uh if you haven't subscribed as always please subscribe um, uh, please try and watch the video to the end as always and if you have then thank you i appreciate your support but yeah i'll be back um i think for friday I'll be back friday with another episode 
So, yeah, I'll leave you to it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.